Okay, today is Tuesday, and Monday I went back to that same thrift store to get more 25-cent CDs. And the guy said that he's going to be bringing out a thousand plus more. When that will be, and and I, I don't know. And where they'll mix them with the other stuff or put them in another spot, I don't know. Uh, we shall see. But there were still plenty of CDs there. Uh, the shelves were overfilled with um, CDs, so I don't think people have been really looking at the shelves. The selection on the shelves was a lot lesser than what was out on the front there. Um, but I'll try not to mix up anything from the previous uh, video here. But we want to start off here with, let's pick a, pick one here. Um, let's see if I can find it right now. Um, so we'll start off the one without the um, CD booklet here. And this is Editor's The Back Room. I used to have this one, I believe. This is, uh, it's got uh, Munich on there. I remember that one, um, and I believe that this is one that didn't make the cut years ago, so essentially what I did was I burnt a lot of CDs, uh, either myself or the help of my dad, on certain different computers and devices, and sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. This was back in the day, just a long time ago. Some of those CDs I still have because they were things that were transferred from cassette tape to um, to um, you know digital files and so there's that one there I think I probably still have this on a compilation but that is all messed up there so uh, dance party like it's 2001 um, why did I grab this one well it's you know it's got a lot of the classics 16 DJ mix smashed hits so we don't know what this is you know if these are the originals or what they are but it's got zombie nation um, and it's got Darude Sandstorm on there, so whatever. Again, it was a quarter. If I made a mistake, I might be able to just, you know, use a jewel case or something else and get rid of the, uh, the CD there. Uh, then we have this one here, which is the Crystal Method. If you're not familiar with them, look them up. They were very popular in the 2000s or so. This one has got um, Busy Child. That would be the one um, that they played on the radio a lot. Get Busy Child. Um... Uh, and I'm trying to think of what else I have on here. Sometimes you'll find people that have taken, you know, um, silly videos and then uh, changed up, you know, music videos and changed the, um, think about this one here. The Crystal Method would be like one that somebody would take uh, the uh, Apache, Tommy Seabox Apache, and then change the music to that. That would be one that would they do. Uh, here is the Best of Player. Baby Come Back. So you may not really know who Player is. So that's very 70s there. Uh, very, very light 70s. Um, but anyway, um, there is Player. And uh, Baby Come Back, um, they used it in commercials a lot. I think it was one of those um, Swiffer versus the Mop commercials. Um, so there was that one. And that brought popularity back to that particular song. Everything But The Girl. Um, some of these bands, you know, are popular for three, four years, and then they just fall off the map. And I'm not sure. I've heard that one before, but I don't know about this one, Walking Wounded. Don't know if it's one of those um, popular ones or, or what that is. Um, could have their hit on it. I just grabbed that one. I think that might have been in the, the leftover stack there, the shelf stack. Uh, then we have a few more here. I can't believe this was still there, but again, when you're looking at CDs like this and looking at the spine here, um, people may not know, you know, they know heart, but they don't know what's the essential heart. I don't know what that is. But again, it was two CDs, all for one 25 cent price. There's one of them on Epic label, and then the other one is stuck behind here. And they're all in good condition there, and there is heart from back in the day. I, that was some of the first record albums I ever had. Uh, this particular one, heart right here. Um, little, little Queen, I think is what it says there. I believe that was the one I had. Um, it was a very popular one. I think that Barracuda might have been on that one. But it's got everything that they ever did on here. Crazy for You, Magic Man, uh, Barracuda, Little Queen. Um, you know, what else do we have here? Um, Alone, um, These Dreams, all kinds of stuff on there. That was a no-brainer to grab that one. I can't believe nobody grabbed that one. Um, get different type of crowd at shops there, but anyway, Carol King, um, going back, and why nobody grabbed that one, I have no idea, uh, cause it's Carol King, that's why you grab it, you know, you don't care if you like the songs or not, if you don't like them, you just get rid of it, you know, sell to somebody for a dollar, how's that? 
Uh, then we have this one here, Naked Eyes, and people are like, Naked Eyes, what's that? Sounds really weird. And it, and it isn't too bad. Um, it's got um, always something there to remind me. It's an almost every 80s soundtrack. I mean, and it's been in lots of commercials, and and um, I have a copy of the music video on an old VCR tape that I I um, I have, um, and just a bunch of 80s uh, stuff there, and that's kind of cool there. So that's the only song I really know that they did. You know, kind of like what we call a one-hit wonder. And then people say, oh, you know, they're not one-hit wonders overseas. They were, you know, in Germany or whatever, or Europe. They were awesome, so you never know. This one's brand new factory sealed. And why nobody grabbed it, maybe they already had this, or maybe it's stuff that they wouldn't listen to, but it's Cher, um, uh, 20th Century Masters, and some sort of best of, uh, covered up by the old original 890, 888 uh, price sticker. I don't know what sound savers, where that would have come from. Well, if it was a Sam Goody's type store or whatever, I don't know. Um, gypsies, gypsies, Tramps and Thieves, and Half Breed, some of the things that are on here. So not, you know, I'm not a huge share fan there, but again, that was really cool to grab that brand new factory seal for 25 cents, mind you. We have, I think, about three or four left here. It looks like three. I think I might have missed one, but we, will, we won't worry about that. We have the best of Hazy Fantasy. Um, and again, it's one of those, I can't think of the name of the, the, the style that they're dressed, you know, with the... The kind of the dreadlocks and the dirty looking hair sort of thing. Um, it's what I forget what it's called. There's a whole group of uh, people that go to festivals, you know, like that. I'm not exactly sure what that's called, but um, and then there's that shiny, shiny should be the one that you would know. Um, it's pretty good to actually listen to. It's different, but it's it's pretty good to. I have um, I have this one with this particular similar cover on that. Um, I have that one on a vinyl record there. I think I paid a dollar for the exact same store. Um, so there is that one there. They're 1980s. Um, and then we have um, Finite Tribe or Finna Tribe. I do not know. Do not know who this is. Almost looks like the Red Hot Chili Peppers logo in the middle there. Um, this is probably a, a. I'm not sure where they're from. Again, it's a bunch of these have these large giant holes punched into them right there. Very interesting. They're right through the barcode. I know they're promotionals, but uh, um, and most of these promotional ones are people that you've never even heard of. So whether they really got distributed or not, I don't know. Uh, title for Evergreen. So some sort of mix. Uh, a mix. Um, it looks like a, a floppy disk there. And then there's the back again of that. It's just kind of unusual and weird. So I just grabbed it because I, I figured I'd try some of these things that I've never heard of here. Um, because there's some music that I like, but I haven't, you know, I've kind of listened to them too much and I don't want to hear them. Um, I think I already showed this one. Yeah, I already showed that one here. Um, and then this is PWEI, otherwise known as Pop Will Eat Itself, the Radio One Sessions, 1986 to 87. There's that one there. I know nothing about this. I listened to some of it. It's okay. Again, some of the, this is a Made in England disc, um, so that might make it a little harder to find somewhere. Um, again, I don't know what any of the values of these things are. I looked up some of them. There were some on Discogs. Some were not on Discogs, you know. I mean, they were all on Discogs, but what I mean is that there were not very many copies for sale. Some of them were overseas copy, but the general consensus is anywhere, these CDs were anywhere between 2 and $10, mostly. Mostly in around the $5 benchmark. So if you think about going into a used CD store or music store and paying anywhere between 3 and $5 each of those, you know, and then you go into the Goodwill store and you're anywhere between 2 and 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 three dollars for the CDs and then some of the other stores are at least a dollar so if I'm if I manage you know if I spent four dollars then that that's uh, you know four dollars and then times you know how many ever CDs I got you know that um, just add you know 75 cents to each one of those that's a, a huge savings a huge savings like 75 percent off absolutely crazy again uh, you usually cannot even pick up a, a, an old jewel case or a quarter there I mean if if, if somebody had the time and the, and and the and the and the willing to put put the effort in they can make a huge killing because you they could set up everything on their discog store Amazon's wherever they sell eBay that sort of thing and again a lot of these things you know here's another one that I picked up from previously this classic folk music I theoretically could get probably five to eight dollars for that one there 
You know, if I sell CDs, I usually sell the new ones for two and the used ones for a dollar or something to that effect. You know, so it's all a, all a win-win for me. You know, so hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you're finding any great deals on music, CDs, vinyl records, what have you, and thank you for watching.